Welcome back to Homemade Cooking. Today, we are making gingerbread baby daddies in studio apartments. It's struggling, but so are we this Christmas season, so we did our best. Looks more like a cardboard box. Anyway, the point of it is to make the dough, and then y'all do whatever y'all want with the rest of it. All right, you're going to start with your dry ingredients. So that is two cups of flour, um, one tablespoon of baking powder, a handful of salt, and if you're intelligent, you're going to put in your pumpkin spice seasoning um, with ginger. So what I did was I dried um, fresh ginger in the oven, and then I put that in with my cinnamon and nutmeg. Um, or you can just buy pumpkin spice seasoning. It's the same thing. It's actually sweet potato pie seasoning because sweet potato pie is nothing but pumpkin spice pie with sweet potatoes. But that's not the point here. Anyway, and you're also going to put in your vanilla. Um, but if you're dumb like me, you're going to put all that in and then you're going to forget to put your vanilla in until the very end. So don't be dumb like me. Also, I make my own little pumpkin spice Christmas seasoning, and I put it in here. That's just it with the ginger in it. When you use ginger, please remember ginger is strong. It's stronger than your baby daddy grip on that cell phone when you catch him cheating, I swear to God. If you use too much ginger, these will not be gingerbread baby daddies. They will just be ginger. Ginger. Please remember we're making Christmas magic cookies and or with everything I do, it's magic. So we only stir in clockwise directions if we're trying to gain something, counterclockwise if you're trying to lose something. If you can see, I carved something special in there. Anyway, two eggs. So for this recipe, if you're making it the way I'm telling you to, one egg. But I needed more, so I put in two eggs. So there you go. Uh, one stick of melted butter not the little stick the big stick it says pluga on it from the grocery store it's like a half a cup of butter then you're gonna stir clockwise 13 33 or you can just do it in threes okay so this is where dummy me added the vanilla you can do that but it just ends up dumb and the sugar we almost forgot the sugar too so you're going to also need a cup, maybe a cup and a half of brown sugar. And idiot me added it here. The thing is, you can do it here. And the honey diamond, why? Anyway, the thing is, you can do it here. And you can just mix it all in. And it comes out fine. But it's more work because you really have to make sure you mix it in. Or you're going to be biting into a pocket of sugar. And then the other bite's going to be a pocket of nothing. Just like your pockets. Now you're going to mix it with your hands. Or can eat it whatever you want to do 33 times if you're doing the magic if not just mix it up a little bit and then you're fine transfer it to your parchment paper don't leave any in the bowl you're gonna need all of it if you're making houses and men And then you're going to make it in a little circle, um, as cute as you can get it. And then what I did, I put a rune on it for good luck. Um, you can put whatever symbol on it you want. Or if you're not making magic with your food and you just want it delicious, I don't know, put a smiley face on it. And one more thing I did before it was done, I make sure to kiss my dough, unless I'm making it for somebody else. Or, um, and, and speak my words of whatever I want this thing to do for me into the dough and then you blow on it you say it three times blow on it give it a kiss and put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to two hours it depends on the type of time you have and if you're wrapping it in plastic wrap wrap it like three times now I preheat my oven to 365 my ovens only ever on 365 when I'm baking why because that's a circle and you want everything to come out whole and perfect. Now you're going to flour your rolling pin a little bit. And you're going to roll out your dough to maybe like a half an inch thick. Maybe. Um, because I needed a lot for houses and, you know, other stuff and little, little baby daddies. Um, I rolled out. I cut it up and I rolled out two different types of pieces. So I measured the pan to it. Ignore my crusty pan. 
and then I transfer, I keep the parchment paper on it because if you try to take it off, you try to take it off, the whole thing will fall apart. So anyway, I measured it and I slid it onto my giggity, onto my pan, and then I stuck it in the oven for maybe 15 minutes max, like absolute max. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, these are for the little baby daddies and the little heart. So just roll it out again, because you're not going to cut out the squares for the house until it's done. But anyway, for these, you're going to cut them out. So roll it out again. And you know what? Maybe I should have cut them out. Maybe that would have been helpful. Whatever. I didn't have stencils because I'm broke. And you know what? If you're broke and you feel like you can't do shit, you can still do it. That's what I do these for. A lot of y'all just have never been broke before. You don't understand. You need to be fucking creative. So my little gingerbread man came out goofy. But a lot of y'all baby daddy's goofy too. So don't get mad at me. Okay? Mine doesn't have an arm. And you know what? Just because you don't have an arm doesn't mean you're not a delicious gingerbread man. You can be a delicious gingerbread man with no arm. You can be de- be a delicious gingerbread man with no egg. No leg. You might be a... Don't do no egg. It'll fall apart. You might be a half a gingerbread man. But you're still count as a delicious gingerbread baby daddy. Thank you. Honestly, he's just got one of them little arms. You know the ones, so I used to have this boy on my basketball team and he had one little arm and it was like elbow to the, like his hand didn't work, but he was the best motherfucking basketball player ever. So his name was Skylar and I hope he's doing great. So um, he's just that. This is just his his cookie. It's a cookie for him. Because you know what? They don't ever get cookies. They always get the perfect gingerbread men. They don't ever get the little goofy ones. Some people are shaped a little goofy, but on the inside, they're fucking delicious. And they're really good at whatever they do. Anyway, look at him. He's cute. Fuck you. We also made a heart because I couldn't figure out what to do with um, uh, the rest of the dough. So I made a heart. So all you're going to do is roll it out again. Uh, By the way, don't eat the raw cookie dough when you make it yourself. Uh, You will shit, throw up and vomit everywhere. You will... Oh, my God. You will... Four days. For, like, you will sass super salmonella yourself. And I've done that with chicken before. I didn't realize chickens come from eggs. And that's what is in this is we're all fucking eggs. So super salmonella is a hell of a thing to be getting when you're making gingerbread cookies. That's some bullshit. And here they are. Yes, he's a little crispy. Um, You know what? That just means he got money. Okay, and his leg fell off, but that's okay because now he got disability money. And there's the studio apartment, Jesus Christ. Stay skinny.